What is your favorite nostalgic video game and why do you like it so much? Pokemon Red. It brings back the memories like getting nervous when the battery indicator on your Game Boy is already red and you are in a tight situation like gym leader battles or catching a legendary Pokemon. The struggle of looking for some source of light when it is dark already on your surroundings. It reminds me as well of the blowing of the inner game cartridge, when the console is not reading the game properly. I don't know how the magic happens but it always works like a charm. There's still so much to tell how this game really brought impact to my life. Road Rash. That chain and club to beat others takes the game to another level. Chrono Trigger. Game's amazing and yay, brings me back to my childhood. Simpler times. Super Mario Bros. 3. Enough said. Wii Sports Resort. All the sports were so much fun, except the jet skis. I remember getting a Wii for Christmas when I was 7 and just playing Wii Sports Resort all day. Monkey Island. The jokes were on point. Puzzles were a delight and as a young kid it felt naughty playing JT. Cracker of a game. Rollercoaster Tycoon. The old school vibe. New games are not able to give you the same experience. So many hours of just building all kind of parks and rides. And every roller coaster I build was always too scary. These days you can play the old school version on your phone. And I still love it. Hey. Listen. It was fantastic for the time, and still holds up really well today. Also, I feel the same way about the pod racing game. Need for Speed 2, Hot Pursuit. So many hours spent racing my best friend on PS2 after school, back when multiplayer meant playing someone sitting next to you. Spyro, Year of the Dragon, such fond memories. Final Fantasy 7 is my favorite game. I can't even remember how many times I played it growing up. I don't get to play games much nowadays and probably haven't touched a controller in over 10 years but the remake brought back so many fond memories and I love it all over again. Donkey Kong Country, the controls and levels are perfect. And it is so easy to jump back in and play. Harvest Moon. It was such a chill game and I could follow along even though I barely knew English at that time. GTA San Andreas. All we had to do was follow the damn train, CJ. Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. It is a perfect game. Pokemon Gold. Super Mario 64, had the original on the N64. It was just so much fun. And well designed, so many different reasons to visit the same levels without getting bored. And I wasn't even going for perfect completion. I play Mario Odyssey with the Mario 64 clothes. And I get giddy when I jumped into photos in Mario Odyssey. The OG Star Wars Battlefronts and the first LEGO Star Wars games. My good childhood friend would have sleepovers all the time and play until them until the early hours of the morning. Lot of great memories. The original Crash Bandicoot series by Naughty Dog was mine. Surprised I haven't seen it listed already. The Jack and Daxter series. That was my childhood. I'm a bit older than most Redditors, so my answer may go over some heads. The Commander Keen series. I had episodes 1 to 5 on my computer growing up, and went through them god knows how many times. I got very good with double jumping with the pogo stick, how to escape the vorticons, how to get all the secret bonus points, except that one damn ice cream cone in San Diego in Keen 4, how the fuck did you get that? Mario Kart 64. Do I need a reason? Skyrim. I used to play with my dad and it was just magical every time I played it. Mist. It was groundbreaking when it came out, and visually stunning compared to everything else at the time. The concept for the world itself was like a metaphor for game development. Using a special language and writing in a special book, you can create worlds for people to explore that are inhabited with puzzles for people to solve. The sequel Riven also holds a special place for me. The level of detail in the game was fantastic, even following through to the 5 CD-ROMs you had to swap between when playing the game. The fact that they carried the theme of the the number 5 being holy all the way into the packaging. These games were truly magical. Red Alert 2, Sim Tower 3000, The Sims 1, Roller Coaster Tycoon, Seas 1.6, Sim Tower. I remember being a kid and can't think of anything other than games. Kingdom Hearts, just opening the game and listening to the intro. Age of Empires. Got a CD-ROM of it in a cereal box, probably my first video game I got addicted to. Diablo 2 for sure, I used to play this game all day on my sister's laptop. 
I was like seven at the time and my frides were genuinely concerned for me and asked my mom to help me VC game was too violent. Yeah I was kinda dumb kid. GTA Vice City, my first real video game, played for hours and hours and when I finally got to the helicopter after two years of playing I saved and went to sleep, next day after coming home from school we found our house robbed. Ratchet and Clank. It was the first video game I ever played after watching my dad play it late at night. The whole series is tons of fun, but the original will always be special. Banjo and Kazooie. The music is wonderful and the gameplay was also really good. It isn't that hard to beat and yet you can play for hours non-stop. Fable and Age of Empires. I even remember getting my mom and dad hooked on them too lol. Call of Duty 2. As a little kid I used to sit in my big brother's lap while he was playing and when I was old enough to play it myself, brother and dad had to help me with certain missions because I was a fucking noob. Now I'm 18 and I know the game by heart. Every mission, every gun, every map, I even remember the post-death quotes. COD 2 is always there when everything's shitty and I need to take my mind off things, it's basically like my safe space. If you are going through hell, keep going. Winston Churchill. Final Fantasy VI. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful game. Awesome story, great game play, so much to do, explore, and shit is still being found about it today, even if those are fun bugs you can exploit to do crazy shit. Spore. The first time you defeat one of those giant creatures that usually one-shot you together with that rare standalone op that you recruited is a nice feeling. Never actually finished the game though because the last space part is so boring and I didn't understand. Now I want to replay the game, it'll probably do that and finish it once and for all. Sly Cooper watching my brother play for hours with the distinct art style and certain sound effects really brings me back. RuneScape. It'd have to be GTA San Andreas. I liked it so much as a kid because I could always cause as much chaos as I wanted haha. Original Metroid. I truly felt alone on an uncharted planet. Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Because fuck yeah. Deus Ex. I really like the story, soundtrack and gameplay. Very immersive. Abe's Odyssey and Abe's Exodus. These games had simple but complex mechanics, and transported me into a different world. They were recently remastered and they are still relevant our games. Mario, Contra, Aladdin. There was one more game the name of which I don't remember. It had the words, Hakuna Matata, appear frequently on it and involved a lot of insects. It also had Taimon and Pumbaa in it. I loved them as I played them when I was a child and had no life problems, lol. They remind me of happy times. Super Mario Sunshine. There's something about the aesthetic, the controls, and difficulty that makes me come back to it. It's especially endearing as it was the first game I ever had. Wind Waker. Gorgeous game that had an amazing story. On top of that it just felt amazing discovering new islands. You felt like an explorer non-stop, and there was so much discovery in that game that you always had a new experience. Halo Reach. My favorite shooter. Not the oldest game in this thread, but man it was good. The story is the best of the series. Survive. Chills when I see that at the end. Also the last time Bungie made Halo, and it was the best. Fight me. The first Harry Potter game was the first game I played on my PS2, was a PS1 disc, which was my first more advanced console and I spent hours playing that game and falling off bookshelves. Thought it was the best damn thing ever and actually played it again a few months ago. All that nostalgia just came rushing back. The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Walker. Absolute classic, loved the open world exploration and was a huge part of my childhood. GoldenEye 007 and Half-Life. Baldur's Gate. Dark Alliance Champions of Norath as well as Gladius by LucasArts. Heroes of the Might and Magic 3. In my opinion still the best single player game ever. The soundtrack was pure magic. The gameplay was just so gorgeous and immersive. Kirby Air Ride because it brings back fun memories with my siblings when we were kids.